Good evening. Please stand. Come, saints adored and martyrs strong. Come, wives and mothers, join our song. Come, Christian men, and give your praise to God for Rita's life of grace. Loving and patient. Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we come together this evening in prayer to ask St. Rita for her intercession and to commemorate St. Charles Luanga and companion martyrs from Uganda for their faith and their courage and their trust in the Lord. And so as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lawanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Tobit. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered media, and we're getting close to Ekbatana. Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother, 
He replied, here I am. He said, tonight we must stay with Regal, who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Regal, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to them, greetings to you too, brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his home. Regal slaughtered a ram from the flock and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to eat, Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, ask Regal to let me marry my kinswoman, Sarah. Regal overheard the words, so he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is more entitled to marry my daughter Sarah than you, brother. Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you, because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you both. Tobiah answered, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Regal said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on you are her love, and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper you both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Regal called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Tobiah with the words, Take her according to the law. According to the decree written in the book of Moses, she is your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Regal then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that he might draw up a marriage contract, stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife, according to the decree of the Mosaic law. Her mother brought the scroll and Regal drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. Afterward, they began to eat and drink. Later, Regal called his wife, Edna, and said, My love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room, and she was told and brought the girl there. After she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you joy in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah rose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us the deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and begged that deliverance might be theirs. And they began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two the human race descended. You said it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now Lord you know that I take this wife of mine not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen, and went to bed for the night. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless 
Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above the nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Saint Rita, Mother. There were other sufferings and sadness in Rita's life besides those stemming from her husband. Her elderly parents died, and her own marriage had not been blessed with even one child. Rita did not despair. She would hope and trust. Finally, one day, with joy rising out of her heart, she told her husband, God has blessed us. We are parents. We know that Rita had two sons, nearly the same age. Some have even surmised that they were twins. The elder boy's name was Giacomo Antonio, and the younger, Paolo Maria. Rita and her husband together discovered the joys, responsibilities, and sorrows of children in a home. Like every woman who is a mother, Rita learned that it is an experience that unfolds day by day. First is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying, he is one, and there is no other than he and to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he had answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you. During the novena this month, we of course remember St. Rita as a mother. One of the vocations, well, you can see in the banners in the chapel, one of the vocations that Rita was called to during her life. Our mothers are special people. How could they not be? 
They created and literally carried us, and their bodies shared their flesh and blood with us for nine months. And you've heard the saying, Mother knows best. And no one knows a child better than their mother. As the reading from the life of Rita says, the great responsibilities of her motherhood unfolded over time. I used to think that my own mother had eyes in the back of her head. She would often brag as much. We would be in the car and my brothers and I would be in the back seats messing around or starting fights with one another. And she would yell out with perfect clarity, stop that. Don't hit your brother, don't take his snack, just sit there and be quiet. And I still, to this day, don't know how she did it, but she always knew exactly what her sons were doing. When we were really bad, my mother used to threaten to kick us out of the car and we could walk home. And once, only once, to my knowledge, did she actually do it. She pulled over, she ordered me and my brothers to get out of the car, and she actually drove away. Now this was okay, we lived in a small town. My brothers and I, we all have red hair, so you can just imagine three redheads, all in a row, walking home, with our heads down, feeling the guilt and the shame that we were, <laughs> that we earned. A mother knows best, always keeping a watchful eye, sometimes offering a gentle correction, sometimes issuing a not-so-gentle correction. Rita, as a mother, knew the joys and sorrows of her children's lives, through the ups and the downs, teaching them how to speak, how to meet new people, teaching them about God and the faith, and of course, the struggles, showing them the right thing to do, correcting them when necessary, and always, always loving them, so that they could meet the unfolding challenge of their lives with Christian charity. The scriptures this evening narrate a fairly long story about a marriage for young Tobiah and Sarah. And it was not only arranged by the angel Raphael, but by the girl's mother and father. And this speaks to a slightly different time in human history when the mother and the father had a fairly direct role in navigating marriage. Of course, they had to consent, and at times they even arranged the marriage between their children. Perhaps speaking to Rita's own experience of her arranged marriage to a less than perfect man. The story of life unfolds. And Rita, I think as a mother, had to learn what was best. She came to know the gifts and the joys of family life, just as we know the gifts of our parents, our siblings, our children, and our grandchildren. And over time, she too would know the pains and the sorrows of family life, just as we know the separation, isolation, death, and arguments that deeply hurt. Violence seemed deeply ingrained in her husband, Paulo's life, and it would be in her son's lives. Families, and especially our mothers, know the most intimate parts of ourselves. They know us best. Our family knows the best of us and the worst of us. St. Rita, as a wife and a mother, knew her husband and boys at their best and at their worst. And they knew her at her best and her worst. No one is perfect. But I imagine that they must have known that there was something special about their mom. Her commitment to prayer, her devotions, her piety, her always putting God first in her life, whatever that meant. 
and they knew that she kept a watchful eye on them. Loving and caring as only a mother can. As she prays for us, her children, St. Rita intercedes for us from heaven, keeping a watchful eye on each of us, leading us to what is truly the best, that is, the best for all time, commending us and recommending us to the care and the love of Jesus. Each of us goes through ups and downs in our life, and God has blessed us and given us so many graces if we come to realize them, especially the gift of faith and the grace of knowing that God is present among us. This is why we come to celebrate the Eucharist, our greatest joy as Christians, the source and summit of our life in faith and hope and love. We join to share the Eucharist with one another, sharing in spiritual communion and tasting the divine life itself, where Jesus strengthens us with his body and his blood, soul and divinity, and we become one in him. And we are joined with Charles Lalonga and his companion martyrs from their sacrifice and their love of the Lord. Jesus is the heart of this family. And so to my own mother, who I know is watching, I called her to warn her she might be embarrassed. Ma, thank you, and I love you. You have given me and my brothers the gift of faith and the gift of life. The same gift that St. Rita gave to her husband and her boys. Being a mother is heroic work. And being a mother is sometimes being a martyr. So for all of us, let us give thanks and praise to God for all the blessings that we've received in our lives. For the gift of our family, mothers, and fathers. For the gift of faith and the joy of coming to know our God. If you do not have one of the sheets, please make sure you get one in the back of the novena first. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and our hearts will be renewed. In the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit a love and desire for what is right and just and the constant enjoyment of his consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of good counsel, Pray for Holy Mary, Mother of pure love. Pray for us. Holy Mary, Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Holy Mary, Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Holy Mary, Model of life for Saint Rita. Pray for us. Saint Rita, our advocate and protectress. Pray for us. Saint Rita, beloved by the Lord. Pray for us. Saint Rita, given special grace from heaven. Pray for us. 
Saint Rita, remarkable in childhood. Pray for us. Saint Rita, model of obedience to God's will. Pray for us. Saint Rita, the peacemaker. Pray for us. Saint Rita, of untiring patience. Pray for us. Saint Rita, model of Christian mothers. Saint Rita, mirror for Christian spouses. Saint Rita, heroic in sacrifice. Saint Rita, generous and forgiving. Saint Rita, martyr in penitence. Saint Rita, embracing humility and poverty. Saint Rita, exemplary as a widow. Saint Rita, prompt to answer the divine call. Saint Rita, patient in suffering. Saint Rita, mirror of religious observance. Saint Rita, mystical rose of every virtue. Saint Rita, enamored of the passion of Christ. Saint Rita, pierced with a thorn. Saint Rita, in ecstasy before the Blessed Sacrament. Saint Rita, consumed with divine love. Saint Rita, received into heaven with joy. Saint Rita, incorrupt in your chaste body. Saint Rita, advocate of impossible cases. Saint Rita, persevering in prayer. Saint Rita, help of those in need. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, you have signed your servant, Rita. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on St. Rita such grace that she loved her enemies and bore in her heart and on her forehead the mark of your love and passion, grant us, we beseech you, through her merits and intercession, a love for our enemies. Through our contemplation of your son's sufferings and passion, may we merit the reward promised to the meek and the suffering. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glorious Saint Rita, patroness of those in need, your intercession with our Lord is most powerful. Through the favors obtained by your prayers, you have been called advocate of hopeless and even impossible cases. Saint Rita, humble and pure, patient and compassionate lover of Christ crucified, we have confidence that everyone who has recourse to you will find comfort and relief. Listen to our prayers and show your power with God on our behalf. Obtain our petitions for us if they are for the greater honor of God and for our good. We promise if our petitions are granted to make known your favor and to glorify God for this gift. Relying on your power with the merciful Savior, we ask of you. We remember all of the intentions placed here at the shrine. We remember all those who are ill. Judge Jim Schreier, Fury and Elegant families. George Russell, Allison Henson, baby Christopher Pajak, Brent McKenzie, Bridget Murphy, Carolyn Lowry, Kathy Scalise, Catherine Randolph, Chet McGrath, Chris Tauby, Cindy Prendergast, Diane Burke, Don Drizzle, Dorothy Janik, Ellen Lakowicz, Eileen Womack, Gail Sutera, Janice Mitchell, Jim Carlson, Jim Pitts, John Cogent, June Pitts, Kat, Kat Herberg, Marilyn Sopchik, Mark Riley, Mike Bowers, Mike McCardle, Nicolette Ricker, Pat Sabula, Patricia McCabe, Paul Lewandowski, Peggy Skolan, Rena Neary, Sandy Batke, Steve Sopchik, Susan Pisenko, Tim Skolan, Trish Carlson, Zach Lyman, 
Sue Christoph, Don Grenda, Juan Hernandez, Juanita Hearn, Beverly Elliston, Justine Henderson, and Maria King. For all of our beloved dead, we pray. Dominic D'Amato on his seventh anniversary. Dennis Carroll of the class of 56. Brother John Petra Courier of the Order of St. Augustine, class of 61. Joe Koziak, class of 64. Timothy Walsh, class of 85. Al Mentis, Alan Friedman, Baby Charlotte Bax, David Wilson, Dean Edmund Dombrowski, Diane Lewandowski, Ed Wellborn, Erica Freelander, Fran Dibbs, Frank Lanuti, Henry Close, Joanne Laskevich, John Janik, Karen Zilstra, Keith Walker, Kevin Barron, Mike Hooks, Jerry Fitzgerald, Bridget Murphy, James O'Brien, David Carpenter. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. By the singular merits of your childhood. Obtain a request for us. By your perfect union with the divine will. Obtain a request for us. By your acceptance of troubles in your married life. Obtain a request for us. By the anguish felt at the murder of your husband. By the example of forgiveness you gave to your sons. By your miraculous entrance into the convent. By your daily penance and fasting. By your courage and joy in bearing the mark of the crucified Savior. By the divine love which consumed your life. By your devotion in receiving the blessed sacrament by the happiness you felt in leaving this life for union with Christ, by the example you have given to people of every state of life. Pray for us, Saint Rita, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. You graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Said Saint to whom God grants power to open his dear heart from it to pour full streams of grace, open to us his heart. Pray, Saint Rita, pray for us today. Pray.
great for us. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, Holy Church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may be offering to you. On whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for un. and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And so with one mind and one heart, we dare to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only save my soul. For the distribution of Holy Communion, if you have hand sanitizer with you, please sanitize your hands and, and share it with those around you. If not, they are, when, you re, when you come up, we will receive communion over here in the center and over in the far aisle. One Lord of all. 
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what helped them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials steadfast in faith and charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we would like to welcome anyone who is here at the Novena or the Shrine for the first time. And we do that by asking you simply to stand so we can welcome you. Don't be shy. First time. Stand up. Thank you. Welcome. You are a visitor once. Now you're part of our Augustinian family. To everyone else, Welcome back, welcome home. We're glad you're here. And to all those who are joining us at home, from around the country, around the world, wherever you are, you are all very, very welcome here also. So after the Mass, please know that the gift shop is there, especially with the, the books of St. Rita that are, we have a new coffee table book that's available. And so that's back there. And then the, the blessed oil and holy water of St. Rita is also available along with the, the new shipment of tiny saints that they come in too, that's all on the back table. Also in your booklet, you see a flyer for the memorial candles. So they are brand new, they're the red electric candle. And so with that donation, you help the shrine and your intention will burn in front of the image of St. Rita for one year and you write your own personal um, inscription. So you can remember a loved one, yourself, your family, all that's in there. If you want to hand that in tonight, you can hand it to me, or you can uh, mail it in also. We're still, uh, we're about $20,000 short of the sound system, and if you haven't noticed, every Mass, we find something else that we have to adjust. <laughs> like, I just found out that if I turn this mic on, it turned his off. His was on, mine was off. So we're gonna call the man who put it in and we tell him the problems and then he fixes them. And we think we wanna make it a little louder. That's what people have been telling me. So we're doing it. But every mass we learn something new about the system. So it was pretty complicated, uh, but we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. And then the live stream, if you haven't seen it live streamed on the website, it's uh, pretty awesome. So Miriam and Luis are in the sacristy taking care of all that. The cameras, just so you know, like that camera, hello everyone, is on right now because the green lights are on. And the other cameras are on, but that's the one that's on right now. So we're all famous, we're in Hollywood. So if you can help us with the sound system, we need your help, okay? Because we said that we would repay the school, we borrowed from the school, that we would repay them by the end of June. So I'm not worried because if St. Rita wants it, it gets done. Thank you to everyone who's already contributed. This June 12th, which is a week from Saturday, right here, we are having another ordination. We are going to ordain a new priest and two new deacons, transitional deacons. Uh, Deacon Sam Jutris, who is originally from Evergreen Park, Most Holy Redeemer Parish, he will be ordained a priest. And two new transitional deacons will be uh, Brother Jeff Raths from Flint, Michigan, and Brother Joe Rocasalva from St. Cajetan Parish. Brother Joe is a cantor at times, so many of you know Brother Joe. So everyone's welcome to come, you just simply have to register. And you could do that on the provincial website, or you can talk to Margie at the gift shop or call her during the week, okay? That is the 12th of June, a week from Saturday, right here at 10 a.m. It's a great day to celebrate. I want to uh, welcome my fellow Knights of Columbus from Cardinal Bernardine Council in Evergreen Park. They are here tonight for uh, the first communion. Uh, we used to have a communion breakfast, so I said, why don't we do a communion pizza party? 
So they're here with Mass, and then they're going to go to the, the Council Hall. So can I have all the Knights of Columbus that are here, would you please stand so we can welcome you? I'm standing. I'm standing too, so welcome, guys. We got to give a special shout out to Bill Burns, first time back since COVID. Bill's a knight, 95 years young. Bill, good to see you. Good to see you, Bill. Good to see you. Very faithful member. Very faithful member of our Novena family. If you gentlemen here over the age of 18, any of the men over the age of 18, if you've never thought of the Knights of Columbus, you need to talk to one of these men. And John Ryan, John, wave your hand, will be in the back. He'll be back by one of the couches with forms, and he can answer any question if you're interested in becoming a Knight of Columbus. And I want to personally thank the Cardinal Bernardine Council, because every year they help support an Augustinian seminary. So for the six years of Father Jack's seminary, they help support Father Jack, so you can see where the good work goes right here. So, so thank you to the Knights for doing that. And they're going to start again with uh, Brother David Ralstab, who's from St. Patricia Parish in Hickory Hills. There he started. They told me today that they're now going to start supporting him through his journey of seminary. So thank you to our Knights of Columbus. I hope that uh, you'll come to next month's Mass. Uh, it'll be in July, July 1. Father Bernie Siena, a former Shrine Director, good friend of us all, he will be saying the Mass on July 1st. Help spread the word. It's so good to see so many people coming back. Many of you that have been coming back, tell everyone we're open. And probably by that time, we'll be really open because the phases keep going up. So please spread the word, especially to any new people, but hope to see you on July 1st. I know many of you told me that you have followed when you were not going to Mass, the YouTube Masses that I did. Well, Father Romero Sanchez has brought back, after a year and a half uh, hiatus, I'm doing the English Mass at St. Rita Parish every Sunday at 1030 on 63rd Street. So you're welcome. You do not have to register, but we'll be there. I'm there every Sunday at 1030 with uh, the parish community, and it's also on YouTube live stream. So that's every Sunday. And today is a very special day because it was 16 years ago tonight that we had our first solemn novena for the perpetual novena on Thursdays. It was 2005. So some of you might remember that. Remember there was scaffolding up, the chapel was being painted, there were 65 of us here. Was anyone here that? Was anyone here that? Stand up if you were at that Mass 16 years ago. Be proud. Stand up. We were there 16 years ago. That's pretty awesome. We're still here. We're still here. So we are now entering our 17th year of doing the Perpetual Novena. The Novena was started by Father Green in 1907 with the first Augustinians. It was every Thursday. And then we kept going, it never stopped, but we started the perpetual monthly novena 16 years ago. So happy anniversary. It's pretty cool. So thank you for being here, everyone. And uh, thank you to Father Jack Tierney for being our presider and preacher. Thank you. And I know his mom and dad are watching from Idaho. So hello to the Tierneys. <laughs> But Father Jack is very, very sad because I've been calling him our baby priest all year. But he only has that title till a week from Saturday. Then Father Sam will be the baby priest. You'll be the old priest. And speaking of old priests, we're very happy to have Father Bob Kelly here. <laughs> My cousin, Divine Word Missionary. So thank you, Father Bob. And Father Bob will have the relic at the foot of the sanctuary if you'd like to get a personal blessing with the relic. Remember, you can't touch it, but you can get a special blessing with it from Father Bob. So just come on up here after Mass. Please take out our, our special prayers that we're, we've been saying this year is the year of St. Joseph that Pope Francis promulgated 
And so this is the prayer that Augustinians around the world are saying, so let us join together. Glorious Patriarch St. Joseph, most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, guardian of the Redeemer and patron of the Church, you are also the protector of our Augustinian family. Sustain us in our religious ideal of living together in one mind and one heart on the way to God. Help us to follow Christ and to live according to his will. As once you rescued the child Jesus from pure, sure peril, so now safeguard us from all evils, temptations, and dangers. Shield, too, each one of us by your powerful protection, so that supported by your constant help, we may be able to live harmoniously in our communities and come to perfection in the eternal life prepared for us. Amen. St. Joseph, protector of the Augustinian order, pray for us. And we are so happy about these professions and uh, ordinations. We have five new pre-novices that will be starting in August. You'll meet them. And you know, I am convinced that it's the prayers of the people who come to the Novena. You have been so faithful, and so many others, in supporting us with your prayer. And I truly believe we are experiencing the fruits of that prayer. And so let us together now pray our Augustinian prayer for vocations. Let us pray to the Lord of the harvest, who calls men and women to loving service. All glory and praise are yours, God of truth, light of our hearts, for you guide your people in the ways of holiness. Help those who follow in the footsteps of Augustine to seek you through mutual love and worship and to be servants of your church as examples that others may follow. Enlighten men and women to see the beauty of common life in the spirit of St. Augustine and strengthen them in your service so that the work you have begun in them may be brought to fulfillment. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We said 16 years ago tonight, we would do this novena if you wanted it. And we would do it because people would show up. We're still here. Please spread the word and know all of us come from different places. We all have our own prayers, our intentions, our joys, and our sorrows. And we are all together. We are all one. I'm going to challenge you. You know, a lot of times people kind of sit in the same place. If you always see someone, you don't know who they are, go introduce yourself. Become friendly with everyone that's here. And please invite and encourage and tell new people, especially our younger people who so much need Jesus in their life. And they need St. Rita to pray for them. Invite people. Bring your, your grandchildren. Bring your neighbors. Bring anyone. Because now that we're opening up, let's fill the church up again. What do you think? I think Jesus would love it, and I know St. Rita would too. So thank you all. You're the best. Have a beautiful June uh, as we begin this summer. Always please stay safe. And Father Jack will now give the final blessing with the relic. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of St. Rita, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Joyful, joyful. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. While your works with joy surround you, earth and 
heaven reflect your rays. Stars and angels sing around you, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea, chanting bird and flowering fountain, sound their praise eternal. 